Hi, Libra Anarchy here. I'm responding to Woods of Jordan, even though comments have been disabled. His video is down here. Link in crotch bar, of course, naturally, as always. And, uh, yeah, so you've heard much of this spiel before, I'm sure, and you've heard it from me, but I think you're on the right track only because of something you said in this video, um, in your last video, and that is that. <clears throat> No matter what religion anybody is, you still love them, okay? You still care about them. And you, you are stating your beliefs, but you're stating them as your beliefs rather than this is what everybody has to believe, da 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 So you are, as I can tell, um, being honest with yourself and you're actually walking your journey instead of trying to walk other people's journey. And, um, I can, in a weird sort of way, relate, um, I'm sort of part of the, it, yeah, it's sort of, <laughs> but that's a good way of describing it, sort of part of the atheist slash agnostic community on YouTube, but, um, it's kind of interesting because, in a weird I am one of the few deconverted pagans you'll see, and I will probably always remain an agnostic or an atheist in the world of what goes up must come down. In the world of, if you have a headache, take an aspirin. In the world of um, cause and effect, in what most people would term as objective reality. Um, in the world of if I don't feed my dog soon she's gonna get hungry and she's likely to come in here and beg for her dinner. <laughs> I mean in, in that world I will probably always remain an agnostic um, because nobody's seen me any of the gods that I used to believe in. And it's a little bit weird for someone to deconvert from Christianity into an agnostic and then convert to being a polytheist and being genuine about it and then re-deconverting. <laughs> and this wasn't like, you know, a matter of the old joke about pagans changing their religion as much as they change their underwear, you know. It's like, oh, I'm Wiccan, oh, I found something else, so... Oh, okay, now I'm a Celtic, such and such. Well, now I'm Reconstructionalist. Oh, well, now I've found Hellenism. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, well, now I'm eclectic. Oh, well, I finally found the Germanic pantheon. Huh? Oh, well, no, that's not right. I, now I've gotten into hoodoo or whatever. I mean, sure, there's the old joke about pagans changing their religion more often than they change their underwear. And some do. But for me, it was like, you know, I had spent maybe a year, year and a half, two years, and even still, um, I spent some time kind of agonizing over the conflict between what I feel versus what I observe, or rather what I don't observe in the real world, in the world where I have to, you know, work to make money and, you know, go to school to get a piece of paper that says I can do something to work to make money, <laughs> etc. I, but then there was my internal world and there, then there was my feelings and there are my feelings and um, I got some money, Christmas money early this year. So I have money burning a hole in my pocket. And I bought in I, 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 an Icelandic Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. And the thing about the Icelandic hammer is that, and there are different designs, um, things that have been found in different places, but the gist of the Icelandic hammer is that it looks like a cross. But it's not exactly a cross. And uh, because at the time when Iceland was being converted, it was something that could be sold to Christian or pagan or, you know, um, 
you know, if you're in the business of making jewelry and you want to make money, also, if somebody was in a situation where they were practicing the old religion, but they couldn't do it publicly because Iceland had officially converted, oh, no, this, this, this isn't a hammer, this is a cross, see? Well, there you go. So they could keep the religion without being, you know, and wear a hammer without sticking out, getting in trouble, etc. So, yeah, but there was some, something about the Icelandic cross I like, and it's kind of a long, strange story, and I won't get into it, but it is within me to wear a hammer. It is within me to it, as much as it sounds silly to say it, it's within me and part of my being to honor Thor, which I understand in in the world of what comes up must or what goes up must come down doesn't actually exist, but on the other hand, it exists in my internal landscape. I feel like it exists, but that doesn't mean that it does exist, literally. It's like uh, the spider I'm wearing around my neck. It's not an it's not an actual spider. Of course, spiders exist, but the point is, it is a representation. And spiders, um, I draw a lot of associations between spiders and various concepts and experiences I've had. And, thoughts that I've thunk and all this. So it's a representation of a spider. Likewise, the hammer is a representation of Thor, and Thor could be a representation of any number of things, um, not the least of which being the protector of Midgard, but, um, you know, the uh, protector of the women and children, the, the god of the common man, the farmer, etc. There's a lot of associations there, but um, my point is, on with with me, I I've decided well, on the one hand I'm going to go with what I feel, but it doesn't mean that I necessarily have to fit into. It doesn't mean that I have to believe what other people believe in the way that other people believe it. It doesn't mean that I'm being dishonest with myself or with other people. Um, because I'm going to be wearing a hammer, okay? Um, likewise, I'm not going to accuse you of being dishonest or being some kind of joker or poe because you've gone through a deconversion and a reconversion and an, apparently another de-reconversion thing. I mean, you're a human being trying to figure out your place in the world. And I've run on at the mouth quite enough. Uh, so, yeah, my point is, now, you may end up rethinking, well, if, even if you stay a Christian, you may end up rethinking your interpretation of what it means to be Christian, to be a little Christ. You may rethink your interpretation of what it, what Christ is. I mean, I personally would tell you that Jesus Christ is within you, not as some external force that entered you, but you are likely um, personifying all your best traits and lumping it into a, be um, a symbol called Jesus Christ and then communicating with Jesus Christ as though he were a different person. and. I would tell you that it is the same person, it is part of you, and it, and your ritual of prayer is likely yourself talking to yourself. But you know what? It's not my job to interpret your ritual for you. It's not my job to interpret what Jesus is for you, obviously. this It's just my opinion in this huge, ridiculous, this gargantuous sea of opinions from schmoes on YouTube. There you go. I mean, that's... That's what it is. It's an opinion, and, you know, take it or leave it. 
and one day you may take it, and then another day you may leave it, and you may never consider it, and that's fine too. I mean, you have to find what fuck it, excuse my language, I know you don't like bad language, cuss words, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, you have to f obviously find what works for you, and that's what you're doing, and so, you know, I would hope that somebody else would look at look at your journey and maybe they would be inspired to take the extra step and go further along their journey, whatever that journey may be. And it seems to me that you're being honest about it. So, you know, that that's what really matters, I think. Um, I think if you're honest about it, even if you're taking a detour, you're still on the right track. Because really, you are your path. But that's a whole nother rant. It's a, it's a related rant, but it's a whole other rant. Um, when all is said and done, what defines Jordan is what Jordan did to define himself, in my opinion. But, and it will be the path that is known as the Woods of Jordan, or Jordan, whatever your last name is, etc. Nobody else for example, can walk my path, and I can't walk yours, and uh, we can only be who we are. And, but I think that who we are is a lot more phenomenal than what we are taught. It's a lot more phenomenal than just how we appear on the surface. So with that, um, I would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Christmas. And no, not Christmas. <laughs> a very Merry Christmas. There you go. And I hope that whatever concept of divinity, whatever God concept you believe in, and however you experience divinity, may it bless you.